Mega um, DoorDash Adventures Day Two. So, um, so after after doing it yesterday, I'm gonna try to try to improve upon uh, our performance yesterday. Um, so one thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the finger off of this. Cut, just just cut a little bit of the finger off of this glove. That way, I can act, I can use the touch screen. It, so it already had a hole in it, so I'm just making the hole bigger. That's all. Um, it still kind of protects my hand, sort of, kind of. <laughs> but there you go. So now I got my my little my little my middle finger sticking out of it. So hopefully that that allows me to use the screen a little better. So that's one thing I did to improve upon yesterday's performance. And another thing is I got this little this guy here. So what this is, it's a, it's a carabiner with a retractable cord on it, like a kind of like a fishing line sorta. And what what I can do with this is I can help this on my belt loop, and then I just pull the key out and I unlock the lock and I put it back in. And then I don't have to. I don't, there's no fumbling with uh, you know putting keys in my pocket or anything. And then and then that just goes back like that and it just dangles there. So. That's a little trick Hades Omega has learned from delivering packages. So I'm going to put that on my belt loop right there. Okay. And then the other key. The other key is still here. Um, I might think about putting a bigger carabiner on it. So I can snap it onto my thing. So like I said, I'm not fumbling with keys in my pocket. Light B is fully charged. The, the mount's there. I put the, the charge cable onto the bike already. So I don't have to thing it. It's not fully charged. It's at 75%, so I'm probably going to have to charge it along the way. Um, and then we're going to bring a GPS with us today so we can track our mileage because my trip meter doesn't work because of that stupid BAC controller and um, egg rider. So that's that's the suck right there, man. Um, so, yeah, so we're ready to go. I think, I think I'm going to bring a little bit of water with me to today also because yesterday... I noticed, like, ooh, I'm really thirsty. Really, I was really thirsty and hungry. It was a lot warmer. It was a lot warmer yesterday than I thought it would be, you know, and, and I got dehydrated. So, um, so one of the nice things about doing DoorDash is that you're going to restaurants all the time. You can ask them for, like, a cup of water or something, like, like if you're at McDonald's. Um, and, and you can use the restroom. Um, that's one of the things I liked about doing Uber Eats is that, like, I get... Um, I, when I'm driving people, you can't use the bathroom, but if you go, you're going to go pick up food, you know, and you have to wait for the food anyways, you can, you can ask to use their restroom and they'll be cool with it, you know? Um, yeah, so, um, that's one of the problems with doing Uber is, uh, um, you don't get much time to use the bathroom, so, but if, uh, but the good thing about DoorDash is you're going to the restaurants you know, DoorDash or Uber Eats, you're going to the restaurants, you can use their restroom if they have a public restroom. So um, that's what Hades and Micah does. Because um, it's hard to find one. Uh, fortunately, yesterday, I did not have to use the restroom. So so today, I think we're going to dash for three hours. So um, go to the Dash app. It's about 12.36 right now. And we're going to fire this bad boy up. San Jose. It looks like it's more busy in Santa Clara, but dash now. And then I want to dash until we're going to do three hours today. We did like two hours yesterday, so make sure we got enough gas, phone charged, red card, and the hot bag and this blanket's right there. Start your dash. Okay, so we'll just leave our thing there charging. I'm going to go turn our GPS on and clear the tracks. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the tracks today. So you guys can kind of see what I'm riding around in the city. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see the places that you go sometimes. Like we went up all the way up in the hills over there on the east side of San Jose. Uh, that's actually a nice part of town. So, 
So I will get that, and at the end of the day, I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like um, through the Google Google Earth or something. So let's go clear this real quick. Boom. Okay, and I'm gonna go clear the trip data. Um, since I'm already using this as a on the mount, I can't carry I can't carry this. Um, I can't put this on the bike. Plus, we have to take it on and off, so that would be kind of annoying. We're just going to use this to track our miles, basically. Okay, so I'm going to go put that. I think I'm going to go put that in my my left pocket here. Okay, Oops, I feel like I got too much crap. Oh, I'm going to McDonald's. Should we do it? Mm, we got 30 seconds to choose. It doesn't say what the items are. Okay, well, this is four items. It can't be more than four drinks, right? Okay, we're, I guess we're going to McDonald's already. That's fast. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my right jacket pocket. So, Okay, so off we go. Get my boots on. Okay, put my boots on. I'm going to get on the McDonald's. I hope, I hope we don't get too many McDonald's today, man. Okay, McDonald's deliveries as you guys if you guys as you guys uh, noticed yesterday you know um, I guarantee you we will have a drink of some sort but 850 and if we don't have to go very far that's actually better than Uber Eats man Uber Eats they'll give you like five dollars for that or something you know um, all right so here's the backpack um, it's got the bag in it already so let's go deliver um, I don't I'm not even gonna bother checking where to go because I know where we're going. We're going to McDonald's, and it's right down the street from where, where I am. So we're at 100% charge. I charged it last night, I remember. And uh, off we go. I got my wallet, the red card, and got some juice. All right, so let's go hook this up here. Close my garage. Okay, so my thing is charging, but. We'll let it charge on the way. I know where we're going. All right, here we go. DoorDash day two. All right, so today I'm not gonna get like the whole. I'm not gonna get the whole uh, experience today. I'm just gonna get kind of clips here and there. I know I said that yesterday, <laughs> right? but yeah, I'm just gonna get some quick clips, and then uh, and then that'll be it. Um, yesterday was just kind of whoa. The regen just stopped because the battery is fully charged. Um, yeah, so. The, uh, I, I wanted to do like the full videos of each delivery yesterday just to show you the give you the experience you know um, of what you know the whole deal the whole or process looks like is what I want to say and then uh, and so today is just going to be kind of more condensed video of me uh, and then and then I'll talk I'll talk about like oh did the stuff I did er earlier we'll do an AAR at the end of it um, did the stuff I did today did it help me to uh, the the stuff that I did to improve upon yesterday? Did it help today? You know, we're trying to trying to do things better. You know, so like yesterday I was just kind of trying it out, seeing how it works. So now Hades Omega kind of knows what's up. So I think we're gonna hurry up here because this thing is gonna turn red soon. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're just gonna stay in the bike lane to save some power. It's a lot cooler than it was yesterday, I'll tell you that. It was warm yesterday. I was surprised how warm it was, but it, yeah, it's 12.30 now, right? So, so yeah, we're gonna try to do, we're gonna dash until three, so that's about, that's almost three hours. That's like two and a half hours, so I think that's, I think that's a good time. Um, you can also extend your dash, you know, if you feel like uh, you can do it some more. So we'll see how we are on the, mile, on the miles and the, and the range, so. Um, I'll kind of check our our miles throughout the day too. Oh, there's a slingshot. Cool. It's always cool to see a slingshot, man. Like they, it's like so different compared to anything on the road. <laughs> would Hades Omega own a slingshot? You know what? I I, I would. I think I I, I kind of like it. I kind of like the I like the slingshot, but I don't like the engine on the slingshot. It's just I wish it was a more livelier engine. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, yeah. So uh, what are we doing here? Oh, we're going to McDonald's. That's right. Um, I think, I think once we get over the bridge, I'm going to go to the left lane right away. Okay.
Okay. So, so yeah. So just gonna bit some clips here and there of the process. Oh, this is that beautiful cherry blossom tree. I'm gonna try to get on the left lane here. Alright, we got a full charge here. Yesterday we didn't have a full charge. We had like almost a full charge, so so we have to worry, we have to watch out for the regen. The regen might give that on us. Oh, doesn't look like it. I used the whole regen there. <laughs> nice. Okay, so McDonald's is right over there. And we'll go do the thing. I'm just gonna make a left turn and go into the parking lot. Let's make out. So that's another thing. So that's that that's one thing that you could you know um, to note is uh um, if you know where you're going already, you don't really need the phone, man. Just, uh, oh yeah, I have to turn my, let me turn Goodbye. my Goodbye. Oh, my, my, uh, my Cena's been on the whole time. Hmm. Hello. That's interesting. Oh yeah, I did leave it on last, yesterday, because I was wondering why uh, the music didn't work. <laughs> phone connected. Okay, so it's connected to my phone. I hope it still works, because uh, I left it on all freaking night. Um, it wasn't doing anything. So anyway, the McDonald's right over there. Um. Let's, let's try this out. Right, yeah, I have to say I'm I'm a lot I'm a little more relieved that the day's cooler than yesterday. Yesterday was really warm, man. It was like a it must have been almost in the 80s already. I was like, man, it's like summer weather. <laughs> but but uh, today's a lot cooler. It's a lot windier, so that's a good thing. Um, yesterday I was like needed water and all that stuff, so today will probably be better, hopefully. <laughs> Remember to drink water um, throughout the day. So I know it's only like three hours. He's so Omega's gonna do this. So. Alright. Oh, McDonald's! McDonald's, where are we gonna park? Where are we gonna park, man? I would park right here. Just park right here. <laughs> Alright. Keys off. Put it on the. This guy, okay, I need to get a bigger carabiner. This one is too small. Um, take the phone. So what we're gonna wanna do is say that I'm here, I arrived. We're gonna make, pick up Michael P's order here. And then uh, I'm gonna go unlock our thingy. So let's see if this work, actually works. Okay. Out. Stays on the thing. <laughs> This in here, like that. Okay, and then I let go and it snaps back. Perfect. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go pick up Michael's order here. Is there any drinks? Oh, there's an apple. There's a bottled water. That's okay. Oh, there's not really any drinks. I don't see any drinks. Just the bottled water, so that's no problem. So one thing I don't like about this is the number for the order is like it's so small. Like I can't just show it to them. Hi, I got a DoorDash pickup. It's a eight eight four. Sorry, it's so small. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wish they would make that number bigger so people could uh, on the Uber Eats app. It's a lot bigger. So. so this looks like our order right here. So there's only one drink, just just the bottled water. Two bottled water. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the drink, so you probably want to just okay, hold so like that I said, the McDonald's. The McDonald's, so we can't really check if we have everything, because uh, because they, they actually check everything and they seal it, so. Yes, so if, uh, if the order's messed up, it's on them. <laughs> it's a $30 order, too. These Omega feeding families here. Uh, okay, it's right down the street. <laughs> Dang, I'm... That's what I don't like about these McDonald's. But that's eight fifty for distillery, man. That's it's worth it. Okay, so these are your drinks. I'm gonna hold these while I'm riding. And then the other one will go in the backpack. I don't think this will fit in the DoorDash bag, so it's just, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna shove it in here. I don't wanna hold two bags. I probably could hold two bags, but one of them's like a happy meal or something. So it's gonna get all crinkled and stuff. So. Sorry guys. <laughs> Oh, I know, dude. <laughs> How annoying, right? Okay, so it's just gonna be like that. And then those, he, she said those are the drinks, so unlock the bike. 
This is one of the annoying things about white bee. Okay, Got the drinks right here in my hand. Head southwest toward North Capitol Avenue. This is where you told me to go, lady. Come on. Okay, this is one's a little difficult because the little handle is smaller. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Hmm. Turn right onto North Capitol Avenue, then turn oh. right after AutoZone Auto Parts. No, right turn on red. Okay. Okay. So here we are. We're doing the delivery for the first one. Hopefully, I got all the stuff. But they sealed every. Um, the thing about McDonald's is they seal everything, so. You can't check it anyway, so in a quarter if, mile, um, turn right onto Morrill Avenue. If there's something wrong with the order, it's it's their fault. <laughs> it's their fault. So um, sometimes there's some kind of extra notes. Like I remember yesterday, they said something about like they want more ketchup, you know. So I did not bring them extra ketchup. So hopefully they put ketchup in the bag when they assembled the order. Um, so so yeah, sometimes I you know, but for McDonald's generally, I'll say you know. Uh, just, just when they give it to you, um, just kind of, kind of make sure that you have everything. But you, it's not, it's, it's difficult because they seal everything. See, they put these stickers in there. I guess like um, drivers were like eating their food, eating people's food and stuff. So, <laughs> it's stupid. Why would you do that? Take you the know? next right onto I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like when I've had food in my road. car before, it, it smells. Sometimes it smells so good, man. And you're hungry, you know. <laughs> I was like, man, I, I wish I could eat that right now. Actually, <laughs> okay, yeah, that actually yeah, worked out. One o'clock, and the parents are already, uh, they're already uh, gonna pick the kids up. <laughs> so that's one thing you gotta be careful, watch for. Uh, yeah, I drive at night, so I don't normally see that kind of stuff, you know. Come on, man, jeez, take your freaking sweet time with your huge sunglasses, lady. <laughs> okay. This looks like it right here. I'm gonna go just leave this here. Take the bag, the McDonald's bag with us. Hello, a delivery for Michael? Yes. All right, there you go. The drinks are in that one. Okay. All right, so enjoy. Have a good day. He's like happy to get his stuff. <laughs> That's what I like about doing DoorDash. People are excited to get food, you know? <laughs> Mickey D's, all right. Slide after arrival. Slide after delivery. Okay, there is a thing, the customer unavailable thing. Let's see if we can turn that up a little bit. Okay. All right, so that's a that's the first delivery. We got eight fifty for that, and they gave me a four dollar tip. Thank you, Michael. Much appreciated. <laughs> so we made eight fifty for that dash. Oh, so they they already put the tip in before. That's kind of that's kind of strange because uh, generally uh, you don't you would tip after the service, right? <laughs> All right, cool. So now we're just kind of in a uh, we're kind of in a uh, standby mode. Um, man, I hope we don't get another McDonald's. <laughs> I want to do McDonald's, man. I know we're just gonna ride around the neighborhood <laughs> till we get another uh, till we get another uh, uh, delivery. All right, here's we go. Okay, here's me here. I just uh, kind of just pulled over here into the shade. Oh shit. I'm my pocket open. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to close my pocket. My GPS is in there, and so total, we've gone, uh, we've gone, we went three miles, and we got made 850 for that delivery. So that's pretty good. Like, uh, we made like double time pretty much with the tip. You know, <laughs> tips help a lot. I'll tell you that. So that was a good delivery. That was that was a that was a profitable one. I'll tell you that. So, all right. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on that throughout the day, but. That was three miles. I, I guess I guess I guess we can't just do every. I can't tell you everyone. That's I'm just gonna do the first one because it's it, it's gonna record the miles. So the reason I said yesterday to to record your miles is so for you, for tax purposes is what I'm gonna say. For tax purposes, you want to record your miles. Um, so so at the end of the year when you pay your taxes and the and the and the and the government comes and rapes you for uh, for your money, you know, <laughs> you you, uh, you get some deductions, okay. Definitely get deductions. Uh, any, anything helps, you know. Here. We're making money by riding the impulse, uh, not the impulse, the uh, the light bee because it doesn't uh, it doesn't eat up fuel, you know. It doesn't eat up fuel and it's very low maintenance. So wear and tear, you know. I think you can handle it. <laughs> I hope so. We'll see. All right, let's make up. So I'm just waiting for the next ride right now. 
Ah, uh, this kind of sucks, man. Okay, I've been waiting for a little bit, but it's okay. We're not making any money right now, man. We're not working. <laughs> but, uh, so, the one the thing that sucks about riding a bike, and you got no place to hang out, you know. You gotta do the thing on the bike. Um, so it kind of tells you where all the restaurants are, like, where you may get another order. And so, that's where you may be going, you know. You can start riding towards there if you want to, but it, you know it's not it, you won't it's not 100 that you're gonna get a delivery. So I would say rather than just riding around wasting your electrons, your miles, um, don't um, don't just go there. Just I would wait for one. Um, we're not too far from there, so all right. Here's my app. All right, here's my gear. So we're here on day two. I've only done one delivery, and uh, and I've been waiting here. Almost 10 minutes. It's not good. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo! All right. We got one. Just as, just as it, it rolled in the 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to Five Guys. I know where that is. That's pretty much right next to the Togos we went to yesterday. I think. Oh, it even tells you where you're going after. We're going up in the hills again. Cool. That's that, That'll be fun. Uh, oh, accept, oh, I have to accept it. Okay, seven bucks. All right, well, nothing else. Boy, I'll tell you this. It's good to get moving again. <laughs> I was starting to starting to bake a little bit there in the shade so it is getting a little warm but it's actually it feels really great to get moving again all right so we just got to take this all the way down to capital and then uh, that'll be it so I have to say this the phone mount and the charger on the on the light B were great man I don't I'll, I'll tell you the truth I've never really used this charger all that much I think the only time I really use it when I was programming the uh, oh we're getting rid of a bike there um, when I was programming the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the controller, I, I used this uh, charger, the, the light B charger, the USB charger, um, to, to like program the controller because like, I didn't want my phone to run out of battery because I was just plugging away for like an hour or two. <laughs> um, but yeah, it works, really works pretty good. I've almost got 10% charge back, so. Uh, I didn't, and I, you know, I'm pretty sure the, the, the the power drain on the battery on the battery pack and the and this and the light B uh, it's you know the drain is like minimal it's not really gonna make a big dent in it you know but it works good so that's another that's another good reason the uh, the light B makes a good delivery uh, vehicle is that you know you it has an onboard USB charger that works pretty good <laughs> all right. Yes, we it, unfortunately, it doesn't fast charge your phone though. It just it doesn't have a fast charge capability. It, it's like you know whatever USB charge 1.0. <laughs> oh, this lady. Okay, so this is where we got to make our right turn. We are listening to Chrono Trigger uh, jazz, the jazz theme, or the jazz version of a uh, Chrono Trigger. Right down the street. Oh, we got some traffic here in the black lane. Okay. That guy. This guy's trying to cross the street in a scooter. And then four wheel scooters. Okay. So, I'm going to make a right here. And I know the five guys is right here. So, the good thing about the light be as opposed to a car is I can zip through I can zip through parking lots no problem. We're zipping through the parking lots and squeeze through tight spaces that cars can't, you know, and you could split lanes through the parking lot, it's a good thing. I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> are going way too slow. All right, I know the five guys is right here somewhere. I'm just going to ride up in here. Put the light be right here. Probably better to park it over there. But that's okay. It's, the good thing about the light be is it's narrow. It can take up a lot of space. So I don't think anybody will <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go uh, open the app and say I've got here. And we're gonna go pick up a cheeseburger with some fries. Okay. Okay, we're gonna 
demonstrate the unlocking process, the locking process again. <laughs> Use the mega locking system here. Hello, I got a DoorDash pickup for for loose. Okay. Okay, so the order's not ready, so we have to wait. So, um. so one thing I noticed is that uh, it sends you a text message whenever you get an order. That's that's cool. I like that. Um, that way, if you're doing something on your phone, waiting for an order, like it'll pop up. You know, um, you're, you'll hear your ringtone thingy for your phone. Uh, we got 90% charge already too. Not bad. That charger works pretty good. So, so yeah, that actually, that actually makes the, uh, the Suron light be a pretty good, uh, uh, it make, makes it more advantageous as a delivery vehicle, because it has that charger. I wouldn't think you need to charge anything else, except for maybe my, like, my camera. <laughs> Alright. So here's another interesting thing, there's a bunch of notifications in your, like, kind of, uh, your, your pull-down menu here. And um, one of them is floating dash widget, so I guess that's a little thing that you press on the that, that goes on top of your screen, so you can get to the app quicker. Um, DoorDash driver dash, so that tells that tells you that you're it says you're still dashing, so it says you're still live right now. And then one of them is here it says delivery update pickup from Five Guys, so I'm gonna go pick up from Five Guys. And then um, yeah, so if actually yeah, if you want to get there, there's that little there's that widget, and then I guess you can um, you can get there from here too. So we're still waiting to pick up an order, cheeseburger and fries, and I don't think we have to really do it. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's a, a burger, a cheeseburger and fries? Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. I'm pretty sure it will not get cold by the time we get there, man. We're not going that far. Okay. It's in the bag. I don't think we have to, it's just a cheeseburger and fries, there's really nothing else, you know, I don't need to get any straws or whatever. So I got, I saw the fries in there and there's a cheeseburger, he said everything's good to go. Drink side, sauces, I don't think so. Utensils, I don't think you need any kind of utensils with this. Every once in a while it'll have a reminder thing. <laughs> 